Hello, Una Chaplin. Hello. How are you? I'm grand. So tell us about your background. Um, my father is Chilean-Romanian uh, exiled to Cuba. So my brother and sister are Cuban. And my mum's English-Irish exiled to Switzerland. Whoa. And I was born in Spain. But your English accent is like pretty spot on, really. I mean, it changes. My sort of violence comes out in Spanish. I think whoa. it's much more effective. <laughs> Speaking of violence, I'm glad you said that word because I wanted to talk to you about Game of Thrones. So violent. So violent. <laughs> so violent that you got killed off. So violent that I got killed off in the most horrific way. <laughs> were you upset when the script came through and you were like, ouch? I think I was quite happy because I got a really great death. <laughs> you got a great death? Yeah, I got like... Is that what actresses think about, a great death? Like, oh my God, this is so dramatic. Well, I mean, it was obviously I was sad to leave the show because it was yeah. so much fun. It was so brilliant and it was just, you know, dream come true really. But I think that there was a part of me that was like, yeah, people are really going to cry with this. <laughs> was it like filming those scenes? Like? <gasps> I was so sad. You were sad? Yeah, because I think, I think that's well, when I hit me. You were killed, of course you were sad. I know, it was boohoo time. But uh, <laughs> I think it was it sort of finally hit me that I wasn't really going to work with these people all in, all in one go again. Oh. And it was like, Richard and Michelle, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and I was on, I was on the, um, I was on the floor... I don't know how much I can say now, but I was on the floor, not alive. And I was crying because I was so sad to be leaving. I couldn't stop crying. So while you were dead, you were in tears? Yeah, well, this is the thing. The director, David Nutter, who's a genius, by the way, he came up to me and was like, Una, um, <laughs> I appreciate the fact that you're, that you're sort of quite emotional, but you're meant to be dead. <laughs> so can you stop it with the tears? I was like, <laughs> yeah. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. So that you were dead and crying because you yeah. weren't going to film again, but and you were supposed to be dead. Yeah, and stupidly, I died, I decided to die with my eyes open so you could really see every <laughs> all the tears. It's so annoying. That is just brilliant. <laughs> it was a really, it was an important moment in my life. So I have to ask you before you leave, mm -hmm. Charlie Chaplin. <gasps> That's my granddad. Whoa! <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> Insane. I was going to say, how did that happen? That would be my next question, but that's well, a bit obvious. Well, the birds it's and called... the bees. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, do many people want to know about that? Does it annoy you or are you quite proud and excited to talk about that kind oh, of thing? Oh, it never annoys me. Um, everyone wants to know. I think once once people find out, it's like, it's just that niggling curiosity, which I have as well. Like, I met Jeremy Irons' son once and all I wanted to do was ask about Jeremy Irons. <laughs> so I totally get it. And I think I'm, it's really nice because everyone loves my family. Everyone's got so much love for my granddad and... How can you ever find that unpleasant? Yeah. You know? It's, Do you have any nice little stories from your sort of childhood? <sighs> Do you know what? Because he, he died like way before I was born. Mm. But I do remember actually one time I was in a car and I think this is sort of, I was in my sort of attention seeking phase, which has obviously <laughs> died down. <laughs> um, my mum was asking me, because I think I was going on about past lives or something. And my mum went... Past lives? Yeah. I was like five years old going on about past lives. Wow. <laughs> what a childhood. And I said, oh yeah, I think I, my name was Charlie in a, in a previous life. And then I just pretended for years that I was my granddad's reincarnation. That is brilliant. Is, this is an exclusive, by the way. I've never told that story before. I just remembered it today for some reason. That is crazy. Yeah, it's mental, isn't it? 